Do you have a lot of devices? Is your Wi-Fi network slowing down? Does it feel like you're not getting the internet speeds that you're paying for? Well, you're probably not, especially if you're using the router slash modem that came from your internet provider. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the benefits of going with a mesh router, and we're gonna take a look at the new Deco XE75 Pro Wi-Fi 6 mesh router to talk about the benefits of Wi-Fi 6E. So make sure to stay to the end to uh, see my results. Today's video is sponsored by TP-Link. I've been using their ethernet switches, routers, and smart switches for years. So when they reached out to me to take a look at the new Deco Wi-Fi 6E router, I was excited to check it out. And I thought this would be a great chance to talk with you guys about the benefits of using a mesh router and uh, of the new Wi-Fi 6E standard. Now, before we talk about the new Deco XE75 Pro, let's talk about mesh and the problem it helps solve. You can probably relate to having a lot of devices in your house. I'm up to 74 devices and I, I don't even know how that's possible. But as I've grown out my smart home, my Wi-Fi network started to slow down. So that's when I switched over to mesh. Most of us are familiar with the router with a couple of antennas on it. The big limitation with routers is that as the signal leaves the router, it gets weaker and weaker. The devices on the outside of the network get slow speeds, but they also drag down the speed of the whole network. So essentially one bad Apple connection on the network could spoil it for the whole bunch of Apple connections on the network. That was trying to be funny. Mesh Wi-Fi routers work by using multiple routers and access points that talk to each other. And what happens is the individual routers create overlapping signals that help eliminate dead spots. And what's great is you can move around your house and your devices will switch between routers to give it the best signal. So we just see one giant network. And as TP-Link says in their app, paint your home in Wi-Fi, which I love the idea of that. Yes, please paint my neighborhood in Wi-Fi. So I'm dead spots anywhere. I really recommend that you check the Wi-Fi in your house to see where your dead spots are. I use speedtest.net and also their iPhone app. Go to different points in your house and do a speed test. Also try on some different devices. Do make sure to restart your devices. It helps to get maximum speed out of it to see if you are getting an accurate reading. Now here's a look at my house. I live in a two-story house that's not very big. I have a 200 megabit connection. It is in a router in the closet that is centrally located for where we need it. My wife works upstairs, I work downstairs, and that gives us the best coverage. Our challenge with the router upstairs is getting good enough coverage in the living room and in our garage that's been redone as a hangout space. Here are some results from some speed tests at some different points in the house, starting first with the router, this corner where the coverage isn't as great, this corner of the kitchen, and then out here in the garage. This is standing next to the router. Speeds aren't bad because we're standing next to the router. Here's the dead spot in the corner of my kitchen. As you can see, download and upload speeds have suffered. In my living room, I'm seeing big drops in speed too. In my garage, we're seeing less than 25% of the speed on a single router. My speeds are all over the place, but it's a lot to ask one router to cover a whole house. But that's okay, we have a mesh setup. I'm gonna show you where I put mine and the results that I'm getting from them. Let's take a look at the Deco XE75 Pro Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Wi-Fi 6E is the future. It is the latest protocol. It introduces a new six gigahertz band that offers twice as many data channels, so it'll do better with more devices. This six gigahertz band is also a very open bandwidth, so it helps eliminate some network congestion since not a lot of devices use it. Now the Deco XE 75 Pro is available in a two pack for 399 that covers 5,500 square feet. And don't think of that as too much coverage. Think of it if you have multiple floors, you're going going to want that wide coverage so that you don't have those dead spots. You can also get a three pack that covers 7,200 square feet for $599. These are some of the best priced Wi-Fi 6E routers you're gonna find. They're actually priced less than some Wi-Fi 6 routers. And you can save some more money using the link and the promo code in the description. I'll go deeper into Wi-Fi 6E in a minute, but ju I'll just say it's a bigger update than I realized. The Deco XE75 Pro is a tri-band router that's capable of 5,400 megabytes megabits of speed across all three bandwidths. Being a tri-band router, it's capable of gigabit speeds. That's important. You do need to have a tri-band router to get those gigabit speeds over wireless. Gigabit speeds are important, even though I only have a 200 megabit connection, because 
the moment I can get gigabit speeds with a good upload, I'm jumping on it and I want to be ready. Now using AI, the router knows which bandwidth and channel devices need, which makes it easy to have your 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz devices on the same network. For ethernet ports, the Pro brings a new 2.5 gigabit speed ethernet and you have two 1 gigabit speeds. These are important so you can plug in devices and they act as if they're hardwired. So in my living room, the Apple TV and my alarm base stations plugged in. In my garage, the Apple TV and the Xbox is plugged in. The main router has my TP-Link 16 port switch plugged into it. That has all my hubs and a hard line for my computer and my wife's. Always try to hardwire your devices where you can to help uh, remove some of that congestion from your network. Now to set these up, I like to tell people do not be intimidated by these things. You don't have to work in an IT department to be able to set this up. What's an IP address? Who cares? You don't need to know. The, the great thing about this is TP-Link and other companies, they make this stuff easy enough for you to set up or nobody would buy it. TP-Link specifically has their Deco easy setup. You download the app, you create an account, you then hit the plus sign to add your device, and then you just follow the steps through it. You give your network a name, a password, and you're ready to go. Once you're done setting up the main router, if you plug in any other routers within two minutes, it'll automatically connect them. Now, if you only have a modem, you would plug this into the one ethernet that's on your modem. If it's a modem slash router, you would just come out of the ethernet of your existing router and create a new network. If you're replacing a router altogether, I do recommend that you give your new router the old router network name and password. That way you don't have to reconnect all your devices. If your device doesn't automatically connect, you may need to forget the network and then log back in and you should be fine. Now when placing these, try to think about the overlapping signals. Like in my house, if I'm going to do just two of them, I'm going to put one in the living room. That way, the one that's upstairs above my office, these are gonna overlap. That's gonna help with the garage. This will help with that side of the house. The third one, I'm gonna put it out in the garage by the TV. That way, Apple TV and Xbox goes into it. That gives me the coverage where people are the most, and I'll show you my results in a minute. Now let's talk about the benefits of Wi-Fi 6E. Most routers aren't Wi-Fi 6 or 6E. Wi-Fi 6 introduced twice as many channels for your devices to connect to than Wi-Fi 5, which as you add more devices, that's gonna become important. A lot of routers also aren't rated for any number of devices. The Deco XE75 Pros are rated for 200 plus devices. That's one of the largest device ratings that I've seen, especially at this price point. Now let's talk about Wi-Fi 6E and how it speeds up your network. These are tri-band routers, and what that means is like dual-band routers, it has the 2.4 gigahertz that like every device connects to, and it has the second five gigahertz band that computers, phones, and tablets tend to use. With a tri-band router setup, that third channel's used so that these routers can talk to each other. That pulls the traffic off of that 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz band, meaning it's a less congested network. Not many devices support Wi-Fi 6E yet, but as we saw the move from 2.5 gigahertz to five gigahertz, we're starting to see more move over to 6E. Now, Think of these different bandwidths as 2.5 gigahertz is like being stuck in rush hour traffic in LA. It's horrible. Five gigahertz is faster and things move along nicely, but six gigahertz is a wide open highway for your devices to take advantage of all the speed your network has. We're gonna start seeing new devices support 6E, so if you are in the market, definitely future-proof with 6E. Now let's talk about a couple of the features of the Deco app. If you open the app, you can see all your devices. What's nice is as new devices join the network, you'll get notifications. You can select that device. Here's an Amazon device that joined. I can go and I can change the device name. I can go in there and see details about the device, what network it's connected to, the, free, the bandwidth it's on. I can also go to the three dot and there is a deny list. So if I want to block a device, I could put it on the deny list. So could come in handy for the kids who won't get off their devices. Some of the other features in here, 
you have Home Shield. Home Shield can help with the performance of your network and will provide some security benefits and protect your home network from attacks and keep your personal information secure. You also have parental controls to limit what your kids can do. You can prioritize your devices. So for my wife and I, we can prioritize our computers and you can see reports of your network activity and protection history. If you choose to upgrade, the upgrade is going to bring you some more network protection. You could hit compare basic and pro features and see that you get the malicious content filtering, the DDoS protection, port intrusion, time limits, all those extra controls you might want as a parent including time reward. Some other features in here, you can create automations and shortcuts. And then you have the more functionality where you can add managers. You can see the devices on your uh, deny list. You can update your devices, advanced settings for more tweaking, and then your Wi-Fi. That's the basics of the app. Now let's talk about where I place mine and look at some results. Here's my house. My primary router is in a closet here. That closet is above my office. That takes care of all the rooms upstairs. Next. To the router I'm seeing 225 on my 200 megabit connection with almost the full upload speed of 20. I've set up two more routers, one in the living room, which helps cover the distance farthest from the other router. Again, I'm seeing over what I'm paying for. And for upload speed, even this time, I'm getting above what I'm paying for. Another dead spot is in the corner of the kitchen between the upstairs router and the downstairs router. You can see a nice improvement in speed. Again, over 200. We go into the garage to that dead spot. And with one out there, I'm able to achieve achieve maximum speeds. So now with three of them in my house, even though I'm nowhere near 7,200 square feet, I have great coverage because now those routers have great overlapping uh, signal out of them. When you're thinking uh, between getting a two pack or three pack, walls affect how far these signals go. So now if you have multiple floors or you have walls or windows in your house, you might wanna think about erring on the side of more routers than less. I've heard from many people who have said they're getting better performance after switching over to mesh routers. Even when they have slow connections, it seems that their devices are just reacting quicker and are really able to take advantage of what speed they do have. Now you can take your speeds even further by taking advantage of Wi-Fi 6E and that dedicated six gigahertz bandwidth. We're gonna see phones and tablets move into that six gigahertz for even less congestion. Now, how many devices do you have on your Wi-Fi? And is it time to upgrade? Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great smart home information. I put the good stuff in there for you. You stayed to the end, so you deserve it. So thanks for watching, bye.